happen where I suddenly became okay for writers to have the exact same ideas as other writers. And I don't mean like little similarities. I mean having the exact same concept repeated in book after book after book after book. It's to the point where it almost touches plagiarism, but the right things are applied so that it doesn't touch it. And I think people are misunderstanding the concept of what being original is and what lazy writing is. Because if you take an idea and then you root the same idea but just change the names around, that's not original. That's you taking something that's popular, rewording it, and just publishing again as something new. That's not originality. But, however, I will say this. Originality does not always require you to come up with this widely vast world or this whole new complexity thing. Okay, originality ha has very leaps and bounds. There is higher levels and lower levels of it. But the point is to, in the end, be original. And in the, what I've done practicing writing, I've learned some things that really help you to have original ideas. One thing is research. Researching the topic that you want to do. If you want to write about vampires, since that's what's in right now, you can write about vampires. There's nothing wrong with writing about vampires. But what makes your vampires different from what we're seeing everywhere else? What makes your vampire story different from what we've been reading everywhere else? And it's the little things that people could do to make it different that could make a big impact. I mean, what do we have right now? Always normal girl, supernatural guy. Give it a, give it a normal guy to supernatural girl, for God's sakes. That's the simplest thing you could do. It's still, it's, a, it's not vastly original, but it's different from what we have so far. Because what we have so far is mostly normal girls, extraordinary guys. That little twist changes the whole thing. You know, you want to use... Vampires. Well, how do you make your vampires different from everyone else's vampires? You do research. There are thousands of, and millions of vampire myths all over the world. You research them, you pick and choose the one that makes the most sense to you. I mean, there are ones where, you know, they can cross water, ones where they are allergic to pee. You know, there are so many different vast ideas that you guys who want to write could find that would make your ideas totally different from what's being published right now. But the thing is, some don't want to do that. And I think also, it's not that they don't want to do that, but the fact that, this, like I said before, the standards of writing have gotten so low, they don't have to do that to make money. And that's why we as readers have to stop buying things that we know aren't good and then promoting them as good literature. That's that from topic from before. Again, also to be original is not just researching your topic is to research the genre you're going to write about. See what's, your, see what's out right now. Read what's out right now. Make sure that what you are writing is not a nearly carbon copy of what someone else is writing. I mean, I understand not every idea someone has can be original, but researching your genre and what other people are writing will help narrow down you copying someone else's work. It's not always intentional though. Just like plagiarism isn't always intentional. You just, you remember a good idea, you write it down. You know? You don't think where to get that idea from. You just remember something. But you have to be thinking about what you're writing. You can't just write and then say, okay, that's brainstorming. And that's a totally different area. Okay? Research is extremely important when you want to write an original story. Another thing that's important is to recognize what's random and what's original. Randomness makes absolutely no sense within the continuity continuity of what you're writing about. Originality is a, just a different look at something that we've had before or a completely new concept. Randomness is just putting a bunch of things together and then just giving it straight up. It's raw material, you know, and we publish too much raw material. There's nothing wrong with having vastly weird ideas. The important thing is to let them connect together, like connect the dots. Each point must flow into the other. If you're going to do foreshadowing, have it come back in another book. If you're going to have a certain plot thing, let it come together. Don't have plot holes everywhere, okay? Just because you have a fresh concept does not mean the book is good in the context of the entire story. You have to be conscious of what you are writing at all times. Make notes. Have little index cards, flashcards, and write little notices about, okay, this chapter, this happened, what you think would be interesting, what you think is not. 
just do that and then put it together you know and randomness can be used to create originality so can dream so can anything that you make up can be used to make you know a great idea it has to just connect you know and I thought of like this like an example of something random all right you want to be different unique have like all this hist there's a lot of historical fiction coming out the Tudors so let's say you make Henry VIII a succubus succubus an incubus and you have it being told through the eyes of someone at court or through the eyes of each of his wives you know you have Catherine of Aragon you can make her since she was all Catholic and everything like someone who was like an exercising demons and stuff and she fell in love with him and she wanted to try and help him and then he was slowly sucking her soul and he's the one who poisoned her and gave her the tumor and you know use that and you it sounds silly when you think of it but you just have like like have an you can use like stereotypes about history like if everyone say Anne Boleyn's a witch make her an actual witch make her be a witch make her be trying to destroy Henry but Henry finds out that's why he tries to kill her you know Jane Seymour she didn't know what was going on she was being sucked slowly away and when um and Edward since he was a boy he was a boy incubus and he was killing her because you know he was an incubus draining her body like that and then you have and please you know just keep going and going and going you know you can make it as vastly entertaining as you want but the important thing is as you're writing make it have sense along the dots okay fiction doesn't have to be warped it can still make sense and still be original because that's not an idea you hear a lot of using historical things and making it like that so you have one plot line you write about it what you wanted to happen then you see what's good okay connected how do i get from here to here you know randomness is fine you can use it as long as you use it as a guideline not as your real last draft randomness is just used to come up with the idea the rest of it you put it together thinking about it you know and you, there's so many things that people have not done yet and there are things that you can just change about a simple story you know you can make witches different you can make anything the way you want it to be as long as you can make it logical you know even though I don't like Twilight and I don't really care for Stephanie Meyer she's not afraid to go outside of the box she's not afraid to be original and even though I might not personally agree with that her originality she at least has the courage to do that you have to be brave if you want to be original because there's always a chance what you want to write might not sell so you have to be secure in what you want to do to be original because it's very hard to, it's very easy to just be like, okay, this is a selling, let me just write that. No. And there are a lot of original books out there that if you look for them, you can find them. And I have a few of them that I was reading. You know, this is the Kim Harrison series. This is the second book of it. And it's an interesting book because they have like how, you know, different kinds of vampires, worlds, a different society, they're living among us. The story of how they started to live among us is what's interesting because you have the human race almost being coming extinct by genetically altered tomatoes and you might think that's funny but when you think about you know all the salmonella we find in our food nowadays it links up you was real life to be original okay um we have the vampire academy novels by rochelle mead what did she do she used romanian mythology to use the three different kinds of Vampire, Miori, Stragori, and Damn Fires. So you don't just have one breed, you have three kinds of vampires that you're writing about. You know? That's also used. Use different from mythology. Use Chinese vampires. Use any kind of vampire you want. You know, the the um Gemma Doyle series, Gemma Doyle, sorry, by Libba Bray. What she did, she went back in time. She went to the Victorian era. You know, you want to write a vampire novel or a witch novel? Write in a different time period. You know, and she has this is a witch book, and you have Witches, but you don't call them witches. You just give them like magical powers and like a vast cast of characters. That's all you have to do. You don't need to have a big thing. You can just reuse use something that's thing and put your own little spin on it. Um, the historian. You know, it's a whole different view of Dracula. It's using what we already know about him and adding more information to it. You know, giving him this kind of cool, collected, intelligent demeanor that you don't really get from a guy like Dracula. And so, I really think that. There's a lot of originality in this world that can be harnessed and used if people learn how to use it. Don't be afraid to be different. There's nothing wrong with that. And if you are afraid that what you want to write 
might not be successful but you still want to write it then don't write it for the money write it for the satisfaction of putting something good out into the market because trust me we need more originality out there and that's all i gotta say about that for now thank you